Hey, George, I was trying to think of what you get a future billionaire for his birthday, and we'll give you the biggest, best tech company since uh, VMware. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Happy birthday GD. I'm actually with you over here in Singapore. Uh, so we'll have a fun night tonight. Happy birthday from Fathead Jackie. Happy birthday, George! Hi, George. I.O. is a global company, so happy congratulations from Amsterdam. I'm sitting on my plane in New York City, myself and my friend, John. Happy birthday, George. I love you. Happy, happy birthday, and look forward to hanging with you in Singapore, my friend. We wish you a very happy birthday. A happy birthday, George. You've really been a mentor towards me. I never thought I'd be sitting in a hotel room in Singapore wishing you happy birthday. I wish George a very happy birthday. I'm just thrilled that everybody's finally catching up with me. We want to wish you a very happy 41st birthday. Like they say, you become better with age. So here's to a nice bottle of red Pinot. Happy birthday, and when did you turn 40? <laughs> George, happy 40th birthday. Happy 40th and 41st birthday. It's 41st? I thought it was 40th. He decided to celebrate in the Chinese tradition, whereas you know you're you're not born and you don't do months. You just you're born at one and move forward from there. Why is he celebrating his birthday according to the Chinese tradition? Celebrating your 40th isn't actually lucky, so it's better to just jump right in with the 41st. <laughs> You've always wanted to think you're older than what you are, and you're not. That's my area. We're going to China, where it's, it's becoming part of our culture. I, I think it's a, it's a very important thing he's doing on that. Um, I wish I would have thought of it, but I didn't. Uh, he usually thinks of them a little bit before I do. George and I are exactly the same age. We're about a, about a, uh, a month apart. First off, you saw me as an old person, because I was 29. Now he's well past that point. George is two years older. Or three, according to Chinese. What kept coming to me was just the journey. We've been on a journey, and I think I.O. has been on a journey, and all of these people who have been on the journey with him. George, as a kid, was always a leader. Um, he led me, um, most of the family, um, especially as he got older. He's definitely magnified as he's gotten older, I think, but, but yeah, George has, George has always been George, and you know, just hearing stories about him when he was a kid. He came home one day, and I don't remember what grade it was. We were in elementary school. And the teacher called my mom and dad and explained how he had taken over the classroom. Um, and I think my mom's point was, aren't you the teacher? Shouldn't you make sure that doesn't happen? I've known George since mid-90s. I did uh, have some challenges with doing business with him because he was uh, uh, cut a hard bargain. That's what really hit me, that um, he's going to go do something pretty big. Um, and obviously, here we sit. And this kid comes walking by my office and sees this Cobra Roadster on my credenza. George just starts up a conversation about the Cobra. It just seems so very natural to talk to him. He was playing football at the time and, and I looked at him and I remember thinking, my God, that guy has the biggest quads I've ever seen. <laughs> he had like Bermuda shorts on, which would be like loose for no most people, but they were like tight on his thighs and I'm like, oh my God. When we met at a party in college. We were, he was friends with some of my sorority sisters and um, you know, got the, they decided they wanted to fix him up. So they said, okay, who do you think's cute? And he said, oh, she is. So <laughs> we were introduced and you know, it was kind of more like third grade than, than college. George is really uh, quite amazing in his ability to talk about technology. He told me he was gonna start a business and he actually, he told me he had a business. And in reality, he had five or six different ideas. We called it the global headquarters when it was just like, we were in the Kafka Chinese Cultural Center and we called it our global headquarters. We figured out the software that we could change the payee to anybody we wanted and we could change the amount to anything we wanted. We just looked at each other and our eyes went. I had a brand new car and George's like, hey, nice car. I'm like, oh, thanks. I'm like, what, what do you have? I've got this Porsche. He's like, do you want to buy it? And I think that was telling of George's selling capabilities. I remember meeting you when you came by my office with Tony after you had decided you wanted to be partners with us and you could change the world and take our old crappy building in Phoenix and turn it into something special. From that moment on, we knew that you were a special guy and we just wanted to be friends and partners and hang with you. My relationship with you has been about growth, not just about the company, because you've done awesome with that. That's grown a ton, but our friendship has grown more. You've grown in your golf game. You've grown how you handle people. You've grown in maturity. 
you helped my son here, Alex, grow a lot, and I really appreciate that. And hopefully one day you will grow to love Michigan. You know, you're an incredible businessman, entrepreneur, visionary. Um, you're super wicked smart. It's great having a conversation with you because our clock speed, if we were processors, we're running at super high speed. But we can also have a laid back conversation about best place to go in New Zealand. George comes off as being very tough and aggressive in your face. George and I have had some knockdown drag outs. You know that you've made it into George's circle of trust when you have your first ass reaming. <laughs> He does yell at people he loves. He's actually very careful about who he yells at. Secondly, he really is using that as an opportunity to grow them. Hmm. I mean, I've heard him yell at a lot of people. I'm not sure that he loved all those people. He actually cares, right? He cares about the business. He cares about his employees. He cares to make sure that we do the right thing for the customers. And it's very telling. I think once you get beyond that, his, what I call passion for the business, is passion for winning and passion for doing the right thing. He really is an incredible person. One of a kind. In him, in his DNA is a fullback and he grabs the ball and runs with it um, every time and, and he doesn't uh, get dissuaded by obstacles uh, ever. So uh, he's been a fantastic partner to, uh, for me, that's for sure. I go to him with issues, and, and you know, I know his partners could do, and the staff does. The guy has no one to go to. He has to absorb it all, deal with it all on his own, kind of keep that we're going to win, we're going to do the best we can attitude without having, you know, without having anywhere to go, right? He's been able to absorb all of that kind of without whining, without complaining, and absorbing that and taking care of everyone along the way. And I get teared up. Thank you. Thank you for being my brother, my friend, and the, an amazing business partner. Uh, without you, I don't think we'd be anywhere where we're at collectively. I will forever be grateful for the opportunities that he's given to me. And I hope that he knows how much he means to me. So, his, you know, we might, uh, <laughs> have our battles at times, but that's only because it's out of love and respect and, and passion. But I think he might be surprised by how much I care for him. I went through a tough time twice and he was there for me. It meant everything to me. Did everybody say happy birthday? Yeah, it's one of those things where you look back and sometimes it's, I think for George and I, one of the things that's hard to look at what we've done. Um, you just keep moving forwards. It's, it's fun, it's impressive. It's um, sometimes surprising, but it was our goals. This vision for IO actually was, I would say back in like 1998. He's been relentless and he's continued to push that and push that and push that. And the line from Wall Street, how many boats can you ski behind? I don't think there is an amount out there that's going to slow you down. George had this vision of himself and, and time has caught up to uh, who he already envisioned himself to be and was acting and being and then it was, you know, it almost took like the universe 10 years to catch up to him. IO is unbelievable and just to see everything just grow and pretty amazing. They did it. They did it. Happy birthday, George. You're really loved.